So I actually read all of I'm Not Starfire last night, and I'm not even really sure how to put my opinion on it into words. I guess to put it simply, I would say that it was a very bizarre read. Sort of like the kind of thing you might encounter during a fever dream. Or to use a comic reference, it seems like something you might find out of Bizarro World. I also found a video on YouTube with this girl defending the comic. Her video is also like 20 minutes long, and while I did put myself through the comic, I am not going to put myself through another 20 minutes of someone trying to defend it. Besides, we all know where my bias lies. And I think a more interesting approach in this situation, because the comments are available, is taking a look at the comments because her own viewers seem to disagree with her take. Now, of course, it's not very fair for me to show the comments refuting her point without showing her point. However, I'm not here to destroy her take. She's welcome to her opinion. I'm here to have entertainment. And I do think the comments are rather entertaining, so let's read. The story was super rushed and empty. Mandy started off on likable and ended on likable. It felt like a filler episode in a bad cartoon show. She is jealous of her mom because she doesn't have superpowers. She doesn't put any effort into anything because she is afraid of failure. She hates superheroes because she isn't one. She is friends with a kid just because he is willing to hate the same things she does. She gets upset with her crush because she shows interest in something she doesn't. She changes her hair color because of her issue with her mom. She overeats because of emotional issues. All of these are real traits that a person can have. They are realistic, but they are not good traits to have. She has never shown to stop overeating or to get closer to her mother or shown to be a better person. All that happens is that she gets powers and she is now okay with people liking superheroes because now she is one. Okay, let me stop there. To be fair, she did kind of almost get closer to Starfire near the end, but yeah, this person's not wrong because the development kind of just stopped and then took a 180. Continuing. I'm not much of a comics fan, but from what I can see, people are under the impression that comics no longer want to be idealistic. No more ideal morals, people, or bodies. Comics like this one seem to be abandoning those things to be more modern and relatable. The problem is, no one is relating to the characters slash stories they are producing. I don't see anyone reading I'm Not Starfire and liking Mandy as a character. The story was weak, the art was bad, and the characters were terrible. I'm going to chime in there again on the topic of relatable characters, because in high school I was very much emo slash punk, and I'm still a bit of a punk. And whenever I saw slash see a piece of media from a corporation trying to appeal to that demographic. They always like play the stereotypes up to the extreme and I always find it extraordinarily cringy like they're just trying to pander to me. It's so obvious. And now in 2021 I see people enjoying the pandering for various topics and I'm like are you guys serious? You don't see that they're just using you? Okay. Next comment. Mandy is unlikable to her mother who has done nothing but being kind to her as well as other characters. The book is received badly because you might not know this, but the whole comic industry is failing because of books like this. Demon Slayer outsold the entire comic industry in one year, while DC and Marvel produced nothing but these comics. Ooh, here's some comments where the video creator even responded. How fun. Let's take a look. Sis, we're not overreacting. I finished the comic and it's everything people said it would be. A terrible self-insert comic. I recommend reading it just so you can prove yourself wrong. Video creator says... I said in the video that the comic would be written horribly, but that wouldn't excuse a lot of the disparaging comments made against the author and complaints against the character being LGBT and overweight. So my points are going to stand even if I read the comic and despise it. And the response, but the main reason people hate the comic is not even because the main character is LGBT or overweight. It's because she's a toxic, spoiled, rude kid who has no redeemable qualities to make her likable. Here's another one where the creator responded. First, the comment. Self-inserts aren't weird theories, they're one of the most common tropes the majority of artists admit to being guilty of. And this is the most erogenous example I've seen in a long time. I don't see how pointing to the author's ethnicity or natural hair color or the camera angle makes your case whatsoever. Artists have self-inserted themselves as different genders, different ethnicities, different species, but it's always funny to watch people flounder to defend something so pandering and blatantly insulting to the reader. Response? Because I fail to see how an author having some physical similarities to the character makes the case of it being a self-insert, and as I said in the video, a lot of people said that the body type were identical and use that as evidence when that clearly wasn't the case at all. So yeah, she did try to defend the self-insert argument saying that it doesn't look like a self-insert. I think the majority of people greatly disagree with that take. And you can see that evident in the tens, if not hundreds of thousands of comments in all the videos talking about it being a self-insert. Anyway, someone responded saying, so calling something that's bad, bad is overreacting? All I'm saying is any English freshman with two cents would tell you that this is a terrible book. Got one more comment for you, then we're going to wrap it up. There are a bunch of other good comments we could take a look at, but I got to edit this all together after. And remember, I'm just here to have some entertainment, have some fun. There might be other things I want to talk about today too. So got to manage my time. Anyways, here it is. Maybe I'm not overreacting. It's such a disrespect to the good writers that this egocentric fanfic gets published by DC. There's a lot of people creating amazing stories and struggling to get seen. This comic is just paper garbage with the worst art style I've ever seen in a DC comic. Even one manga art is more understandable than this. Oof, that shade at one at the end, although I guess it was a compliment, kind of? I don't know. Look, I have read some of the One Punch Man webcomic, and it's not the cleanest art style, okay. But he did say it's better than I'm not Starfire's art style. I don't know, I'm a big One Punch Man fan, I don't want to get all defensive here, so I'm going to leave it at that. Thank you all for tuning in, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next segment. Take care.